Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whichever one this Sons to Father Nugget devotional has reached you with. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's devotion about the letter, the open letter uh, to a dad that hated being a, a dad. So today, I want to talk about what does your daughter really want? And this is something very close to home because I have two daughters, 19 and 18 now. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's good enough one. But God has given me strength to make it through. So, with that in mind, I want to talk about that today. What does your daughter really, really want? And I want to share a letter that I got um, not too long ago. Uh, from a man that shared a letter that his daughter had wrote him. And this sounds similar to, to one that my daughter had written me not too long ago. So, with that in mind, I want to thank you for tuning in once again. And I pray that something today sparks something in you uh, to help build the relationship between you and your daughter and your son. So, with that in mind, again, thank you for tuning in today. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it, why don't we? What does your daughter really want? And the letter reads thusly. And this is coming from a guy named Jason. But again, this is a letter similar to what my, my youngest daughter has written to me uh, recently. Dear Dad, I love you more than anything in the world. You know that, right? I wrote this because I want you to know how much a daughter needs her father I'm glad that I have a dad just right to love me and can talk to me about anything making good choices friendships being a good kid of character and always being a very good person I love you more than anything in the world now dads let me ask you this what would you give to have your daughter write you a note like that Kind of a tearjerker right there. What would it be worth to you to enrich the father-daughter love in your house? It's a matter of, it's not a matter of money. It's a matter of how much time you are willing to spend with her doing the things she likes to do. And how much you encourage her in the process. Now. There was a study done by the National Center of Fathering. Um, There's a study done, a research done. And these are the top five things that they found. uh, Well, questions that they asked dealing with daughters that they found. These are the responses that they got. Daughters, number one, daughters long to hear their fathers communicate love and encouragement. This also goes with sons. But today we're going to deal with daughters. And this is what was said. The best thing my dad has ever done for me is to let me know he loves me. I wish my father would say, I love you. When my dad encourages me, I feel like I can do anything. I'm going to read number one to you once again. Number one, daughters long to hear their fathers communicate love and encouragement to them. Number two, Daughters want their fathers to take time to strengthen their relationship. I wish, this is coming from daughters now, quote from daughters, and I quote, I wish my daddy wouldn't work so much and spend more time with me. If I could add one thing to our relationship, I would add time. Now these are, end quote, these are daughters. Not my daughters, but these are daughters. Number three. Daughters want their dads to communicate with them more and give them guidance. Are you starting to see a trend here? Communication. Daughters, number three, daughters want their dads to communicate with them more and give them guidance. And I quote again from a daughter during this study. If we talked more truthfully, we would have a better relationship. End quote. Another one, quote. I wish my dad would talk to me more and give me advice, end quote. Here's one more, quote, I need more input from my dad, end quote. Isn't that something? 
Yes, this is, this is what your daughters need, man. If you have daughters, this is what they need. This is what they're asking for. Even though they might not be able to verbalize it, but this is what they're asking for. Number four, daughters want their fathers to seek to understand them. And I quote, sometimes I feel like my father has no idea what I'm going through, end quote. Number two, I it, quote, I wish my father would try and understand me, end quote. Fathers, is it, are our heads so far up our behinds that we are more focused on the protection of our daughters instead of trying to understand them and work on the trusts and have that open line of communication? I believe, and this has worked for me, no judgment when you talk, none. It's an open line of communication. There is no judgment. There is no condemnation. Romans 8, 1. For there is therefore now no condemnation to them that love God. You understand? So when you're speaking to your daughter, recognize her as another child of God and not your daughter. So there is no condemnation. There's just an open line of communication. There is no judgment. Even with your sons, there is no judgment when these open lines of communications are formed. It's an open line of communication that they can feel comfortable with com com communicating with you in without being judged. Daughters want their fathers to seek to understand them, not judge them. That was number four. Number five, daughters want their fathers to trust them more. And I quote, I could add one thing to our relationship, I would add trust. End quote. One more. I quote, I wish my dad would trust me more. End quote. So, the five things again are, daughters long to hear their fathers communicate love and encouragement. Number two, daughters want their fathers to take time to strengthen their relationship. Number three, Daughters want their dads to communicate with them more and give them guidance. Number four, that was number three. Number four, daughters want their fathers to seek to understand them. Number five, daughters want their fathers to trust them more. So, here's your huddle up question for your daughters. Huddle up with them, your daughter or daughters, plural. Or you can even do this with your son as well. Ask him this question. This is your huddle up question. What is one thing you would like me to do more? I haven't asked my kids that in a long time. Actually, you know, just a few months. So I think it's about that time. Because things change. Their priorities change. Their perception change. Their, their, their reality change. Their maturity level can change. Their integrity level can change. The things that are important to them today might not be important to them next week. So you have to constantly keep this question at the forefront of their mind as well as yours. Okay? So that is the top five things that your daughter, my daughter, really want. And this is coming from a study that was done, um, a research that was done by the National Center of Fathering. Uh, if, if you don't know what that is, Google it. National Center for Fathering. Okay? Those are the top five steps. So, Father in Jesus' name, Lord, I come to you right now, humbly submitting myself as a father, as a super dad to you. Father God, asking that wisdom and understanding be granted unto me. Wisdom and grant wisdom and understanding be granted to the men that are under the sound of my voice. Thank you, Father God, for the nugget that you've given us today and in, in, in seeing and visualizing what our daughters want. I pray, oh God, that the, every man under the sound of my voice, oh God, that has heard this podcast be impacted today, and that he begin on this journey to understanding their role as a father in relationship to their daughter. God, I pray for wisdom and understanding, as your word says in James 5, 1, 5. Be it unto us, oh God, as we believe that wisdom is granted to us. God, and that we lean not on our, to our own understanding, but God, in all of our ways, we will acknowledge thee. For as we walk by faith and not by sight, we lean on your everlasting arms. Give us wisdom and direction 
give us peace. Open up the windows of communication. Open up the doors, oh God, that we have available to us to be able to communicate our love and our affection for our daughters, for our sons, for our spouses. As fathers, as these nuggets continue to come forth, oh God, I pray that they are received in our heart and that we hide them in our heart, oh God, that we might not sin against thee. But God, we begin to focus on our first ministry, which is at home to our wife, to our children. God, give us and grant us full understanding and wisdom of these things according to your word. God, and let your will be done in the earth as it already is in heaven. For God, it is thy will that be done and not ours. God, we thank you again. God, give us wisdom and understanding. God, I keep praying for wisdom and understanding. God, because we need it as we become super dads and we become more like thee and we begin to have your character that, that's within us manifest itself as it manifests inside of our children. God, give us these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening. That has been my time. Um, a little short one today. That's been my time. Thank you all for listening to the Sons to Fathers Nugget today. Remember, always, God loves you, and so do I. Again, share the podcast. Download the podcast, because some father needs to hear this particular podcast. Michael Littleton, bro, I am praying for you constantly as you lead that group there in Maryland. Brothers here in Columbus that are listening, I am praying for you constantly. And the men, fathers, that's devoted to raising up this next generation of godly men and women, you are in my prayers, along with so many others that are praying for you. So, with iron sharpening iron, I pray that you pray for me that as these nuggets continue to flow and come, that others will be brought to light through those things. So, with that in mind, God loves you, so do I. And don't forget to follow the podcast, download the podcast, and share the podcast. That's my time. Thanks again. Look forward to talking with you tomorrow on the Sons to Fathers Nugget. Be blessed.